Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome to the Learning Lab episode number 92, my Joanne's haul and sharing a few tips with you. So while Hurricane Holly was still in town and when we were without power and I had to go ways to find a supermarket that was open, it happened to be next to a Joanne's. And I've been hearing all this talk about clearance stuff, so I went in. And I got these um, large tags, 15 of them. They're white from Joanne's, and I think they were 97 cents from um, the paper company. Really cute. Also, what I got on clearance was this cute little Sizzix frog. You guys know me. I couldn't leave him there to languish all by himself. Also on clearance was this cuddle bug folder, and I actually think I might own this one. And... This is the leafy branch, and then this one, um, the Countess, which I don't own, but is a nice large folder that gives me lots of space for stamping or embellishing. Also, while I was in there, I just couldn't resist these little Studio 112 stamps. They have started back carrying these again. At one point, they had gotten rid of almost all of them, but this one is very sweet. It says, Inner Peace. I love it. And this one is two stamps, and it's Wonder of Nature, and there's a little bird down there in the tree, and there's some Chinese um, script on the side. So, in addition to that, I was in AC Moore with Hurricane Holly. Now, some of this, you know, is old hat to most of you, but for me, this um, Teresa Collins World Traveler paper pack, I had to get it when I saw it there, and they had these for $3.88. I've seen them, you know for a little less than that but it was there and I was there and you know it was a nice marriage between us and then also this one from Lost and Found collection and this is Union Square. The paper is from the Lost and Found and the World Traveler really kind of to me fit together so I can probably get a lot done using these. Now moving on to some new templates that I found at AC Moore. Uh, I'm in love with the Crafters Workshop Templates, and this one is Ledger, which was purchased for me by Hurricane Holly. <laughs> this one is uh, like a poem, some writing, and it's called Art Is. And then this one, which, oh gosh, I love. It's a fence, but it reminds me of a chain link fence. And then this one, which is Chicken Wire. And these are the two that I'd like to play with for you in this edition of The Learning Lab. I'm going to start first with the chicken wire and I'm just going to put uh, some anti-static powder across here because I'm going to actually use some uh, perfect pearls. So I'm putting this down. I have this little tiny perfect medium. I hope it's not too dried out. If it is, I'm going to go to my larger perfect medium. Okay, I think that's pretty much covered. So I'm going to move this and come in with some of my perfect pearls. And here I'm using, um, what is this, Forever Green. And just dumping a generous amount on there. So I used a larger brush to kind of blend some of this out and I've set this with a little water in my mini mister. I am going to go back in later and spritz it with this lemon zest uh, glimmer mist but I want to add a little more color to this and so just to set this while I add more color is going to help me a lot. Now the fact that my perfect medium was probably a little dried out in areas gave me some different shadings in there and actually I think it gave it a very interesting kind of look. So what I'm going to do now is take my chicken wire template, put it back into place, add some more perfect pearls in there and this time I'm going to ink, uh, add the pearlescent chalking set to it, just to jazz it up a bit.
So now that we have our base that I've added some chalk inks to in addition, some metallic ones, in addition to the Perfect Pearls, I want to add an outline around the edge. And so I'm going to use some vintage photo and um, some of my cut and dry foam. You know, you can use your um, distress tools also on this, but I'm going to just use my cut and dry foam, which I love, by the way. 